Here I have the one terabyte of Vexis CF Express Type B and it's totally worth the money, trust me. I advise you to pay attention to the constant data speed of the card. This should be at least 800 megabytes per second. The interface between each shoot and the post-production is the data transfer. So you as a filmmaker, as a photographer, as a content creator, as an artist or whatever you call yourself, put all your trust in this little thing. It happened to me that these cards broke. Like this one, it's broken on the top. I spent up to 300 bucks for V90 cards. And all I get is just a piece of plastic which weighs just a few gram and breaks easily. In my eyes, that's not worth the money. Nowadays, when I spend money on what is probably the most important medium between the shoot and the final video, quality has become my top priority. Quality and speed. I don't know how many times I dropped the Vexis card while creating this effect, but you don't really have to worry here. It can take a beating and won't break so easily. It was designed for the RAD V-Raptor to record 8K in RAW and thus offers the maximum power. As mentioned in my review, there are a few modes in the GH6 that need 800 megabytes and even more in ProRes. Vexis delivers 850 megabytes per second with the constant data speed. You will not find such an information on other CF cards. On the official website of Panasonic, you will find a list of compatible CF Express cards for the GH6. You will find the link in the video description. Unfortunately, this one terabyte of Vaxxas is not on that list, but it works great. All of this is essential and necessary in my eyes to get the most out of the camera. Almost one and a half hour is possible with one terabyte shooting in progress and at a resolution of 5.7K.